Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to my channel. My name is Caleb and this is your video series on Oracle Apex. So if you're new to Apex, this is the series for you because we're going to give you everything you need to know to start building applications. So you might be wondering, what is Apex? Well, Apex stands for Application Express. So Apex allows us to build applications very quickly because it's what's known as a low code development environment. So what low code means is that we can still build applications, but a lot of the actual programming is abstracted away from us. We just have to worry about components and different pages and how to piece everything together. So Apex is gonna make our lives a lot easier to make data-driven applications, even if you don't know how to code. Now it is low code, not no code. So if you need to do some customization or do something very specific, then you have the capability to throw your own code in there and customize your applications. Now, if you've been around on this channel long enough, you might know that I did an Oracle SQL tutorial series. Apex is your natural next step because we're gonna be using the Oracle database to build these data-driven applications. So you have data in these tables inside of your database and you want to build a pretty scalable web application to basically be the user interface to this data. This is where Apex is gonna come in because we can easily throw our data in there and we can do analytics on it, make some pretty charts, create some dashboards, and basically create a CRUD application. So if you've never heard of CRUD, this is an acronym that's short for Create, Read, Update, Delete. And it basically encompasses all of the things you might wanna do with a database. You might wanna create data, you might wanna read data, you might wanna update data, and you might want to delete data. It's often very handy if we have an application that allows us to do this rather than working with the database directly. So if you're a developer or a business person, Apex can come in handy because it allows us to easily create applications, but you don't have to worry about all the necessary code just to get the application up and running. So we're basically able to shift our focus from the technical programming to solving a business problem, which is ultimately what the purpose of software is for. It's to solve business problems. So I mentioned that a potential use case for Apex was to create CRUD applications, but people have built all kinds of different applications with Apex. So if you wanna see this, you can check out builtwithapex.com. This is basically a showcase page of various applications that were built using Apex. You can also check out the Apex website where they're going to give you documentation, guides, etc. And hopefully one day I'll get this video series up on that web page. I guess we'll just have to see. So to understand where Apex fits in, let's do a little bit of a comparison. So if you were to create a blogging website, you might try to go for a tool such as WordPress or Joomla or Drupal, a content management system that basically allows you to create content very easily. These content management systems are basically the infrastructure for your blogging website. Well, Apex is very similar in nature in that it gives you that infrastructure, but Apex is really focused on data-driven applications. So like I said, CRUD applications or anything more complex if you wanna do some data analytics and so forth. Now, I'm sure ultimately anything is possible, so if you wanna create a blogging platform, I'm sure that's possible with Apex, but what we're gonna be focusing on in this series is how to create applications that work with data tables. To start the series, we're going to talk about some of the pre-built applications that Apex has available to us. So these allow us to do two things. One, these are some of these apps are productivity apps, so you can use them to keep track of bugs or to have to-do lists or whatever it might be. So there's a bunch of productivity apps. And the second thing these apps allow us to do is to see what's possible with Apex and use them as examples for creating our own applications. Then what we're going to do is we're going to move into creating an application from a file. So you can take a spreadsheet, for example, and you can turn that into a web application. Then we're going to go into the database side of it a little bit and talk about something known as Quick SQL. So this is a feature that allows us to quickly create the SQL or SQL to create tables inside of the database. I think you'll like this feature even if you've never worked with databases or if you're a SQL pro, this is a really cool tool and it's gonna make your lives a lot easier. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an application using those tables we create, spice it up by changing the themes, talk a little bit about user authentication and all kinds of other sweet stuff. So this series is gonna be really awesome and you definitely wanna subscribe and watch the whole thing. <laughs> so in order for you to best follow along with the series, you actually need to go through the examples we're doing. So if you're new to Apex, go sign up for a workspace. It should only take you a minute and there's no credit card info or any other junk like that. You should be able to just sign up and start creating applications. 